Howdy y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm James and this is Clearwater Fishing and today we're talking about the Hummingbird Helix and some of the lesser known features or underutilized features that the Hummingbird Helix offers. The Helix is Hummingbird's most popular fish finder as of right now. It has many features that we all know and have known about for a while, including uh, mega side imaging, mega down imaging, both of those in pluses, uh, their awesome mapping systems, and all that most of us know about. But let's talk about some of the features that we really don't know about or we don't really talk about as a fishing community. The Helix is a part of Hummingbird's one boat network system. Uh, it's actually one of the fish finders that you can purchase and use with their one boat network system. And if you don't have the networking versions of the Hummingbird Helix, these won't really apply to what you have or what you're looking for if you're looking to buy one. Uh, but if you do have the networking, these are extremely important. And if you don't utilize many of these features, well, you're just leaving stuff on the table. So what I mean by Hummingbird Helix networking is Helix to Helix information transfer. So what information can you transfer from your console fish finder to your bow fish finder and vice versa? And how does that integrate with the rest of your boat if you fully utilize the one boat network system? Well, the first thing, and I find extremely important, is the waypoints. Being able to share waypoints from fish finder to fish finder is extremely important. I see so many boats out there with uncommon fish finders. They'll have a Lowrance graph at the console and a Hummingbird at the bow running 360. It, it, to me, it doesn't make sense. When you can scan over that stuff with your console fish finder and see if there's anything on you know, that interest point, whatever it is, point, uh, leads, drop off, brush pile, whatever it may be, mark it, save it for later if there's nothing on it, or hey, hey, there's stuff on it, I marked it, I can get on the bow fish finder, get on my trolling motor, say, and follow it down and catch those fish if there's fish on it. So I don't understand why people don't utilize this more. I know many people do, but I see a lot of boats out there that don't. Another bit of information that you can share between Helix to Helix is your transducer information. And what I mean by that is your side and down imaging information from your console to your bow and vice versa. So if you're sitting at your console and you have your trolling motor in the water, have it on spot lock, and all of a sudden you see a school of fish come by and you're like, hey, I want to go fish those real quick. It gives you the opportunity to jump up and kind of see those fish and maybe catch one or two of them. And vice versa, you can be trolling along with your trolling motor, uh, just following a little area and you want to see what's going on side to side on your side imaging, but you're standing at the bow or you want to see down imaging information from your transducer that's mounted on your transom. That's easy to do. You can just switch the transducer information real quick and boom, there you go. You're looking at your transom transducer. You can also share your GPS signal information from console to bow or fish finder to fish finder. It's uh, pretty valuable, especially when you have a, a longer boat and you, they're about 10 to 12 feet apart or something and you wanna mark a waypoint and make sure you're marking it in the right place. You can also share your iPilot link information and control your trolling motor from either place. So once you have it linked up, it doesn't really matter. You can control your trolling motor from the console or the bow, uh, telling it many different functions. And we'll actually get into that a little later. You can also share your controls for your talons or your raptors, those uh, shallow water anchors that you mount on the back of your boat. You can share that and control either one uh, between any of your fish finders if they're all networked together. I also want to mention uh, if you're connected Helix to Helix, you can share your 360 or your Mega 360 transducer information if you're either direction, wherever you are, as uh, long as the transducer in the water you're going to get an image 
and uh, kind of see what's going on around you, uh, I guess, while you're on your trolling motor or sitting at the console. And the last thing I want to talk about information that we can share from Helix to Helix is your NEMA network information. So if you have uh, motor information that you have going on or any other NEMA networked situation going, you can share that information from Helix to Helix uh, on that NEMA 2000 network. Before we continue on to the next set of features, I want to ask you guys to smash that subscribe button. It'll help me grow this channel and continue to make content like this for you guys. And also, if you're enjoying the video or learning anything from it, make sure you smash that like button as well. It'll help this video grow as well. Continuing on with our lesser known or underutilized features of the Humminbird Helix, I want to talk about the Smart Strike cards that are used more on than just Humminbird Helix units, but I think they provide extra value for the Humminbird Helix if you own one. So if you've never heard of Humminbird's Smart Strike system, well, it's a mapping card that uses Lake Master Maps, which is their mapping system. And you can use certain search features to help you target certain areas for fish. Uh, there's different modes of search. You can search by species, the weather conditions, the time of year, that kind of search. Or you can search for, if you're a more advanced fisherman, you can search for uh, specific types of structure and cover. So like points, uh, ledges, and that kind of thing. You can pull up that kind of search and use your mapping system to help you find these locations where fish may be held up. And... I like the first one if you really don't know kind of what kind of places you should be looking for uh, around that time of year or if you just want to try new new areas on your home lake you're like man I never thought of fishing over there before uh, it's a great way to try that now note that smart strike is not on every lake uh, or neither is lake master so you want to make sure the lakes that you're fishing are the ones that you're looking forward to have that so make sure you check that out on Humminbird's website. Humminbird's Fish Smart app goes along with more than just the Humminbird Helix but I think it's an important feature with the Humminbird Helix that you guys should know about. Uh, you can purchase maps, single maps on for your Humminbird Helix on the Fish Smart app and transfer them to your Helix. I think it's a fantastic way of buying single lake systems if you're just fishing maybe one or two lakes uh, in your area and that's really all you fish or if you're in a certain region that you don't actually have the map card to and you're only going to fish a lake or two there uh, it's a much cheaper alternative to buy these on the fish smart app and use those only as you needed um, and if you really find that you're fishing that area a lot i would probably recommend going ahead and buying the entire region map but if you're just fishing one or two lakes, it's a great way to get those. Also, uh, you can look at it on your phone. You can look at the, the lakes on your phone. And you can see here, I have some waypoints on this lake. So you can do your research. Uh, so you're the night before and you don't want to sit in your boat all night and drain your batteries. Well, you can do the research on your phone. Uh, I've made a few waypoints and interest areas that I wanted to look at on this lake. Uh, since I never fished it, but that's a few of the reasons you should use the Fish Smart app. Uh, you can use it also to update your Humminbird Helix as well, along with a few minor other things, uh, such as uh, some YouTube help, some facts, and your manuals. You can get off on your phone pretty easily. Moving on to our final feature for the Humminbird Helix, if you're using a network compatible Humminbird Helix, and a iPilot link trolling motor, whether that's the Altera or an Ultrex, you have a lot of features that you can use from your Humminbird Helix. iPilot link is essentially just another set of controls from your Humminbird unit. You also have a remote that you can do many of these features from, but it's extremely convenient to use them from your Humminbird Helix such as go to waypoints so say you just scanned over a waypoint with your hummingbird helix at your console and you marked it 
and hey, I want to fish that because I see a few extra points, you can just tell the trolling motor to go to it. Drop your trolling motor, go to it, and then you, while it's doing that, you can grab your rod, prepare it, and by the time you get there, you can be already ready to fish it, and you know that you are right there on that waypoint, whether you're drifting or the wind's blowing or somebody's weight comes by, pretty convenient to do that. A few of the other things you can do is you can follow contours on your Lake Master map or your Smart Strike map. Uh, you can follow those. Uh, you can tell the trolling motor to follow those based upon your Hummingbird's uh, maps. You can also create tracks. Or if you're fishing an area and you fish it really well or not so well, uh, you kind of went by it, the wind shifted direction and, and kind of blew you past it. Well, you can also use a feature called Backtrack which will take you right back down the path that you just took and you can fish that area a little more thoroughly. Two more things that you can do with the iPilot link. One is iTracks offset. So you just fished a track or created a track uh, that you just fished and you were either too close or too far away uh, or at least you felt that way uh, from an area you wanted to fish. So you can set that to fish 10 foot closer, 20 foot closer, uh, however far closer you want or further away, uh, you can set that up so it's an offset from your previous track and you can cover that set of water even more thoroughly than before. Lastly, you can create your own routes. So say that there's a hump that you want to go back and forth on or a point that you want to go back and forth on and kind of fish it on the way out. You can set up a set of waypoints call it a route, and have your trolling motor follow it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you picked up on a few of the lesser known or underutilized features of the Hummingbird Helix, whether or not you already own one or you're in the market for one. I think it's important to know some of these features that I've talked about in this video. If you learned something from it or enjoyed it, make sure you smash the like button for me. It'll help me out. But just like always, until next time, get out there and go catch you some fish.